Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We are back here for another Nifty Kicks Factory Beginner, where we're gonna go ahead and talk about blending, crafting, and really upgrading equipment. We're gonna give you a few examples, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and jump in there right now. So let's go ahead to do some of the blending. You go up to Menu, and then you go to the Blending Portal. This is gonna allow you to go ahead and blend new types of equipment, if you have it or not. Uh, it's a pretty simple process. You just have to go ahead and make sure you have the different components for each of these items that you want to go ahead and blend. From the factory perspective, uh, there is a pull down menu that goes through all the different options that you have as far as things that you can go ahead and blend. For example, if you want to go ahead and blend a leather making machine, you can go ahead and grab the 1000 energy tokens, uh, basic leather cutters, three of those, and then a green warehouse badge, which you'll see over here. Uh, three of those and you can go ahead and craft one of these leather making machines you can go ahead and get them on the secondary market or you can get the components earn the components and then go ahead and blend them with it in game and you can do that with all the different uh, items within the game all the different machines the factory building military base and the laborers throughout the game what's going to happen is you go ahead and click on blend it's going to go ahead in the process and you can go ahead and claim it afterwards. It's a pretty simple process once you have the actual items themselves. Next, what we're gonna go ahead and talk about is actually upgrading existing NFTs that you already have. That process is a little bit different. In order to go ahead and do that, you wanna to go to menu and you wanna to go to production. What you're gonna see now is if you went through this uh, beginner guide before, you're gonna see this is the, the production menu where you can go ahead and claim your existing items and the production that you're doing right now. But what you're gonna see now is you're gonna see it defaults to the factory where you can see that I, I have the option to go ahead and upgrade uh, my existing factory if I wanna go ahead and upgrade it from a four to a five. I don't have the components in order to do that, uh, but if you did, all you have to do is go ahead and hit upgrade here. And what you're going to need is you're going to need 20,000 energy, 10,000 leather, 10,000 of the rest of the tokens, plus three red warehouse badges. Once you get all that, you can go ahead and click on upgrade and it'll upgrade from a four to a five. Let's look at another example here. For example, if I go ahead and pull down here and then say I want to go to the, one of the workers, one of the laborers, uh, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is you can go ahead and click on that and you're going to see it's going to cost 6,000 of each of the tokens uh, of the main tokens, the main five, plus uh, 600 of the kicks in order to go ahead and do the upgrade. The other thing that you should go ahead and note is uh, in order to actually proceed with the upgrade, your NFT has to be unstaked. So what you're going to have to do is go ahead and either click on unstake or you go to the stake pulldown and you move over and you make sure that your NFT that you're looking to do the upgrade process with is in the unstaked menu. So I would have to go ahead and click here. And if I had the different components, which I don't right now, uh, I would go ahead and click on upgrade. It's gonna give me an error here. And it's gonna go through the process to upgrade from the two to the three. Let's go ahead and check out one more example. Uh, we'll go with one of the machines. Uh, all my machines are currently staked. So we'll switch over to the staking. They're all rated number two. They all have someone assigned to them, as you can see it pop up there. But we'll go ahead and click on upgrade here. Uh, and what you're gonna see is I'd have to remove uh, the labor from the machine. So this goes back to what I had just mentioned. Uh, in order to actually do the upgrades for these, I have to go ahead, uh, remove the labor, and then go ahead and unstake the machine itself in order to be able to upgrade, pro do the upgrade process. As you're progressing through the game, you should be upgrading them regularly. You can start with a level one and work all the, all the way up to level four or five, however high you want to do it. But it allows you to really progress through the game and continue to really make your production more efficient. So that's how you do uh, the upgrade and then the blending of the, the NFTs. The one other thing I wanted to show you is how to go ahead and do the crafting because this is going to be important when we actually do the convoy beginner guide next. What you're going to want to do is go up to menu and you're going to go to convoy and I'm going to go to where I send and claim my convoy and you're going to go ahead and see a button. There used to be a button right in the menu that took you to the crafting. I'm not sure if that will be back by the time you're actually watching this. So go ahead and also take a look in the menu. There used to be a button right below or above uh, the blending portal that allows you to access the crafting center. We're going to just do it through this way. 
uh, go ahead and click on crafting and it's going to take you to the crafting menu that this just shows you a whole bunch of different things that you can go ahead and craft with the tokens that you earn or the production that you earn within the game. If you want to go ahead and get different items like security forces for your convoy or the different badges that are available for the, the blending and for the upgrading, you get those all here from using your tokens and going ahead and crafting those. You will note that some of these do have caveats that as the production happens and more and more are produced, there will be an increase in the price. So keep that in mind as the, the later stages of the game happen. These may be more expensive than what you see now in the videos. What we're going to focus on crafting right now is a delivery crate because we're going to need that delivery crate in order to go ahead and run our convoy in the next uh, beginner guide that we put out here. So it's as simple as you need 120 of all the five main tokens. And when I say five main tokens, I'm talking about these five right here. We're not talking about this one. Uh, so all you need is 120 of those and you can go ahead and click on craft. I'm going to go ahead and craft two of them. So I'm going to go ahead and click on up and then we'll go ahead and click on craft. It's going to ask me to authenticate, uh, which I will do so. And then it goes ahead and gives you the confirmation here at the top. That just lets you know that you've gone ahead and crafted those. And now I have those in order to use uh, for the, the convoy, which we're going to do the next training. So that's how simple it is. In order to go ahead and blend, use the blending portal. This allows you to blend uh, brand new NFTs. You have the option of all of these different categories. Uh, in order to go ahead and upgrade equipment, just a reminder, you go to production and you go to the different area that you want. Make sure they're on staked and you can upgrade that way. And last but not least will be the crafting portal. Uh, by the time you're watching this, that may be here in the menu. It's not currently. So a shortcut to get there is go to convoy, send and claim, and then click on the craft. And that's going to take you to here to the crafting menu. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know down in the comments below. Are there any other nifty kicks factory beginning tutorials or beginning guides that you want to see? I'll be happy to put them down below. The next guide that I'm going to go ahead and put out here is the convoy, how to really set up your convoy, send them out there and get kicks uh, from the missions that you run. I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.